If you select rubric, you'll see here a holistic rubric. This will give you kind of a concise way of looking at how I will be evaluating your literature review. Our due date for our literature review is going to be March 5th. So I think it's good at this point to get an idea about how to put together your literature review. Uh, again, this is very concise. This uh, rubric will complement, of course, the feedback that I'll be giving you in our tutoring sessions and outside of our tutoring sessions. Um, but I think this is a good way to take a look at what to consider when developing uh, your literature review. Also, I've included a page for the introduction paragraph. Now, many of you may or may not be ready yet to fully develop the, the introductory uh, or the introduction paragraph. I typically suggest that you wait till the end once you've completed the body of your um, of your literature review to complete the introductory paragraph. But I have included here information about what to include. The hook, the context of the problem, and the thesis statement. Those of you who have had me for uh, academic writing in the past or redacción where we've developed an academic uh, essay, the introductory paragraph will be the same. We want one paragraph, approximately 250 words, and again, try to include a hook, context of the problem, and thesis statement. You can take a look at this page to get uh, further information about those three. But it is important to think of the introductory paragraph as kind of a problem and solution paragraph. This is basically stating the significance, the importance, or the relevance of your paper so that you transition into a thesis statement that provides the possible solution to that problem. And then you will go on to develop in the body the main points that you included in your thesis statement, uh, expanding and discussing in greater detail the possible solution. 